Okay. Welcome back guys, it's Tristan with Lost His Car Reviews again and I have a special car today my friend, she's standing over here but she's too scared to be in the video she's letting me drive her new, new to her, not brand new 2016 Toyota Highlander V6 and I'm pretty excited to drive it today because this is the first Highlander that I have driven let's get to the review and you guys are all going to be dying to buy one of these. What's good, you two? This hood is really light. Giddy up! You got this pretty new design, new headlights. They're not LED. But they still look good. They're not LED lights, are they? No. They're just regular halogen lights. This model does not come with fog lights because it's not the limited. But it still has an awesome view from the front. And you got this beautiful black paint and the 18 inch wheels. And you do have the side markers. If you can see, they have the indicators on there. And I don't know if you can see, but you do have the can't get it on camera it's really hard you got little sparkly flakes in the paint but the sun's too bright to see it and then you have the side profile Highlander is a smaller of the Toyota SUVs the Forerunner is a little bit bigger but it is a small three-row SUV and it does have the all-wheel drive See look, the car's so new, she doesn't even have the temporary plate off of it yet. Which means she hasn't paid for her personal property yet. <laughs> and here, here is a uh, jack-in-the-box that just pops out of the trunk here. But the trunk is a good size. As I said, it is three row. So if you pull this up, you lift the headrest. <laughs> then, the trunk is greatly reduced but you still have enough to get some uh, hamburgers and jerk chicken and rice and peas and all that good stuff but yeah underneath this flat comes all of the uh, let's see what is it I guess the jack yes yeah, the jack in the you didn't even look in here did you <laughs> Oh my gosh. She didn't even look to see what was in what was in the back of the car, the front of the car. She didn't look to check to see what engine it was. She just was like, I'm buying it. It's a Toyota, it's gonna last forever. But in that sense she's right. Everybody knows that Toyotas are super reliable and that you get good gas mileage in it. This model does not come with the leather seats, but they are still comfortable and you get a center armrest and this seat is all the way back for my driving position and being six foot four there is pretty good leg room is this because the middle seat was slid in back right i think before it was more forward yeah, right. yeah this middle seat it does slide forward to give the people in the back a little bit of extra room but yeah i've got plenty of leg room now I didn't before, I was surprised. You have also another center console that has the air conditioning port and you get a little 12 volt down here. I do not see a USB. It's possible that that could come on newer models. And the styling in here, people always used to say that Toyota styling's blend, but it's actually pretty nice. It's got a nice sexy steering wheel and the head unit though the screen is kind of small it does still look quite tasteful and there's a ton of storage room in this car also it does not come with the sunroof but you can option those in so that's fine and then on the inside which the sun's getting in the way you do have big Pretty big door pockets, room for a drink, room for some K 
candy down there, whatnot. Regular door, <laughs> regular door handles. And it's very comfortable. And in this, you get all of these winter mats. You get them in the front and the back of the car. And as we get inside to look at the dash, you have analog speedo, analog tachometer. It's got plenty of storage in there. That's a decent size. Yeah, that's a good size. Top part doesn't open. And I like this design too because it's kind of almost like extra storage between the glove box in here. And then these cup holders are huge. This is like enough to fit some of them big boy drinks from a uh, uh, QT. <laughs> some of them big boy drinks, them unhealthy sodas. And then the center console, the armrest is super comfortable, I think. And you have a really giant deep pocket to store all of my essential oils in. All of the essential oils, all of the McDonald's burgers, <laughs> all of the firearms you want, you could ever need, can go in this center console. But this is soft. Some cars, this thing is really hard, so. And then the steering wheel is a good thickness. Even though it's not leather though, is it? Mm -mm. But it's like, it's still a good material. And then, I believe this is a six-speed automatic. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe it's eight-speed. Oh, Google will tell me later on. And you can switch this into sport mode and manually change the gears. So now, I'm gonna go for a drive. And I'm gonna go a thousand miles an hour in Cashy B's car and possibly tear it up and possibly have the police called on me. But no one cares. You just pay the loan. Because, <laughs> yeah, my life insurance will pay the loan off. <laughs> just kidding. Obviously, all the windows are full electric. And it does not, which I am surprised about this, it does not have heated seats, right? And I figured that all of them would come standard with heated seats, but that cooled seats would be like the extra option. But you get surprised every day, so there you go. But it does drive super smooth. The other car, vehicle, SUV, crossover, whatever you want to call it, that she was looking at was a Honda Pilot, which I have also been in. I didn't drive it, but I was in it quite often. And I do know that it is very smooth, but this is very comparable. Even though you say, what is that noise? The seatbelt. Whose seatbelt? Why are you not got a seatbelt on? Oh Lord, okay. <laughs> That's the last so, thing. So the, the cops will stop me for recording this and then <laughs> they'll, they're gonna get her for not having a seatbelt on, so. There you go. And it does have a basic clock up there though, which is, that's surprising nowadays. But Toyota keep it simple. You, do you know why their cars age so well? It's because they don't come with like crazy new designs and do a bunch of like extraordinary stuff on the styling. So then as these cars go on, the styling kind of stays neutral. So it never kind of seems like super old. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But there's other cars you can look at where the styling seems like it's ancient, but it's because they tried to go so like new and hip with the styling and then you, and then it, it's like wallpaper, you know, like flower wallpaper. And then it's like, oh, that's out of fashion now. So that's what this is like. But this is way more classic, cla classic Toyota, Japanese power. <laughs> that's what I like, but it is, it's super smooth. I put my foot down a tiny bit in it, but um, not too much. But I will in just a second, if I'm allowed to. <laughs> she said, yes, I'm allowed. Put my foot down, so I'm gonna do it. Yeah, get it all the way out to 140. <laughs> I'm not going that fast. All right, I'm getting on the highway now. I'm gonna give it a good blast. Sorry the sun's in the way. There we go, 60.
goes good. It's super smooth, Kasha. I don't know why you're still worried about the pilot. You didn't test drive it. Maybe, but you know what? I'm gonna test drive the pilot just to compare the two of them. Do it. And then I'll be able to give a, a truly informed opinion on whether the Highlander or the pilot is the better driving vehicle. But if you like the pilot better, don't tell me. <laughs> <laughs> I won't. I, I won't tell you. I'll just tell. I'll tell anyone that watches if the pilot's better. You'll you'll have to boycott the video so that you don't, so that no feelings are hurt if I say the pilot's way better than the Highlander. She made a mistake buying this, but no, probably not. Okay, so my thoughts on the Highlander. Tell me what what did you buy it for again? No, 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 no. I'm saying, what was the final amount that um, you got it for? Twenty three four eight eight. Twenty three four eight eight. So, yeah. In conclusion, I would say for twenty three four eight eight, you got a really good car because it drives good. It drives smooth. You can tell that it's well built. It's solid, and you can also see that um, it's going to last a long time like most Toyos. My mum's had two Toyos and both of them really didn't give her any trouble and she drove them to death. And most cars, you can't do that with. And that's why Toyota and Honda sell so well because old people like to buy them because they don't like to mess with fixing cars all the time. Right. And now that you're old, so you fit into that category. And <laughs> you had to get a Toyota. <laughs> no, but think about it. You got it for under 24 and it's a nice car and it still it doesn't even have 40,000 miles on the clock so there's plenty of cars you know you can get like a Ford Fusion that um, I mean it's okay but it's like a little car and some of those cost 40,000 you know that yeah. and I know that the Sun is right in my face too but I don't care you gotta do what you gotta do. I can't pick when the Sun comes up comes down I can put I can put my head in the way like this and then it blocks the sun that yes. it doesn't matter. They get to see my pretty face <laughs> with the sun and without the sun. <laughs> so but honestly, I would buy one of these or the pilot if we didn't have eighteen kids and need the minivan. Okay, <laughs> I am gonna give one knock, one ding on my friend's car here. Which it does. For the radio, it's not too bad to have this little itty bitty um, screen. But when you use it for the backup camera, the screen is a little bit too small. And it's kind of, a, it's kind of on the grainy side. However, yeah, I guess it doesn't, uh, it does not have trajectory either. So I guess it just backs up straight. But at least you get a backup camera. So there you go. It could be worse, you could get no backup camera. But other than that, I like the simplicity of this stuff. Because there's too many, there's, there's some radios, like there's an Audi I drove where everything was like, it was too many buttons. So it made it too difficult. So the simplicity of Toyota radio is actually a good thing.